Hello everybody, I'm the Hammer from the Hammer Game Channel. Welcome back to the Thursday Week Break and to a new playthrough as um, SS Ubenstadt Gutenland with everyone's. I was going to say everyone's favourite, but that's definitely not the right word to describe him. It's. Uh, yes, it's. I'm not going to say his name, but there we go. That's all we need to see, really, is the second thing on that. Pretty much sums him up, doesn't it? But, anyways. The Black Pearl. So we played as Benat, and we done pretty good as Benat. But now, I feel like Gotenland or Gotenland has much more to offer us, especially with Totenhand. The Hand of Death will do its task. But also, the declaration of the, the Grotesches, right? I've definitely said that wrong. But, um, yeah, we got a lot of claims on stuff, but I don't know how we go about getting any more goals, though. But anyways, yes, right. We're getting distracted, we're getting distracted. The Black Pearl. I'm gonna go with Gotenland. Gotenland? Gotenland? We'll go with Gotenland. Uh, the model stood staffel colony of German Eastern Europe. And the land formerly known as Crimea assigned to. Thingy. Uh, he was given the task to turn Gotenland into an Aryan paradise. He was able to accomplish this task with full efficiency, uh, including the removal of old population as resettlement by eager German settlers within three years. Crimea turned into nothing but a distant memory. Gotenland is close to being fully Germanized nowadays. It's a fanatical ship that acts highly autonomously from Germania under a cause of personality around um, death, uh, while also serving as a key to, uh, tourism propaganda region of the Reich under the Strength Through Joy program. Gonna have to come up with a little nickname for. for um, yeah, the Fireland has fallen into chaos, leaving the colonists of the Crimean Peninsula stranded alone in order to secure the existence of the Aryan race in these lands, we must adopt a system of total self reliance. Backed by a Spartan military force. Perfect. And we have... We have one civilian fa... We don't have any military factories. We have dockyards, though. Yeehaw. Woohoo. We, we are living the dream, boys. Living the dream. With that APC. So I'm hoping... I'm hoping there's going to be some war goals for us. One research level, for Christ's sake. Is there... <laughs> Is there options to get more? Yeah, I'm ready to play. Uh, is there is there research slots? Research. I can't spell today. Research slots. Yes, there's one there. Nuclear technology, and one there as well. So wow, we we can get we can get three. We can have three. I guess it's better than the one for Benat. So. Requires long range high yield. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely have to go and get that. Um, our missiles are now far reaching. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hey, decisions! More propaganda. We don't care about. We got 100%. We don't care about any of this jazz either. Uh, go to land. For all its glory and status, has many unique issues from politics, military, technology. Decisions must be made from good land's prospect. Uh, goodish matters shall be handled with great efficiency. Okay, okay, okay. So we have missiles, do we? Hmm. Indonesian National Revolution. <clears throat> All the same stuff that kind of happened the last time we played this. Herbert Otto Geo, Werner Ustendorf, Hungarian Nazi German agents, and Theodore Eek. Alright, they're not actually terrible, so that's okay. He's got harsh leader on it, but that's fine. Uh, do we want to go with the politics? We can't do that until Germany falls into absolute bloody chaos. Where was that other research lot again? Uh, oh, I've got to go down an elite force for it. Total our plague. Mm. Oh, no. This is a hard decision here. A hard decision. Why would we need plus 30 war support when it's already full? Uh, what do we miss here? We miss manpower. Uh. That's 20,000, 25,000. Oh. oh well, it is what it is. Into War Rifles. The death of George. George is gone. Death of Rallis. So hopefully we won't have too much reading or anything to do. And we can just like plow our way to Germany's complete and utter collapse. Europe's best beach after countless amount of tourists from all over the Reich and Europe are famous. Gothia Beach near the British. Goitish. I'm gonna. Someone's gonna have to tell me how to pronounce that. Actually, no one's gonna be able to tell me to pronounce that because I'm gonna pre-record this whole series. Uh, it was rated as the best beach resort in Europe. 
clearly showing the protocol which is good land of masterful Aryan engineering. Uh, Gothia Beach has been a major source of income for Golden Land, generating millions in tourist sales every year. Wow. We have a beach. Theodor Reichstaffen. Schaffen. Schaffen? The Theodor Reichstaffen. Schaffen. Oh, my pronunciations are on point, just as usual. So, anyways, we've got some uh, little modifiers here. We, of course, have the Nazi colonial oppression. We have the tourist industry. Yay. Infrastructure construction speed is up by 40%. Absolute loyalty is also very, very nice. But Memories of Crimea is not so nice. Can we get rid of Memories of Crimea somewhere? So we've got a nice wee oil stockpile there. We do get 20,000 manpower in there. Can we Christian Goebbels? Oh! So Joseph Goebbels has arrived in Gridland for vacation. This trip was unannounced and shocked the leadership of Gridland. Right? Uh, he greeted... Him who arrived to Gutenland on an armored train via the Europa train line, offering state sponsored trip through hot spots and legendary English sites. Goitish sites from the Gutenland, however, the Trugal sponsored trip are well hidden. Let's impress him. Let's show him what we got down here. So we do get a absolute ton of claims. 20, that's like, I think the whole of Ukraine there. You, wait a second. Do we do we get claims? Like all of up here? Because I'm sure Harj use them. Right, no, we don't we don't care about air. Free French in Africa. Unsatisfied tourist. I'm impressed. Due to his tourist lifestyle in Germania. Got up. Do you know what? Kill him. Yeah, Harj use up here. So I think we probably get claims on all of this land. Which would put us head to head with um, the Soviets. See, we gain claims. Doesn't mean cores. We have to have high. Um, oh my god! I'll just come high, no, Reinhard. At least I'm not saying his surname. I don't think YouTube will go. Oh no, can't do that. Anyways, an elite force. Perhaps that instead of making a large constructed army, we focus on having a smaller manpower pool that is more selective. That way we can have more elite strike force to defend our interests. Yeah, I feel like that's better. And I keep getting told I keep pronouncing uh, Biera wrong. Beria. Beria. However you say it. Because let's be honest, I'm going to continue to keep saying it wrong because I'm useless at people's names and places. Just pronouncing anything that is not from the UK, really. Actually, I think my pre uh, French pronunciations are things... Okay, we've got Bordeaux, Marseille, Montpellier, Lyon, Vichy, and of course Kone, Toulouse, Orleans, Paris, Le Havre, you know, Cherbourg, Brest, Laurent, Rennes, Nantes, you know, we've got Brussels, Antwerp, Lille, Ypres is not on here for Belgium, but you've got Calais, Dunkirk as well, Rotterdam, see, you know, I, I know stuff. I'm educated. Oh, excuse me. I swear to God, if you kill off, if you kill off bloody Reinhard, I'm going to be so annoyed because it never happens. Don't do it this one time just because I'm playing as him. So offensive doctrine all the way, charismatic all the way. Do you, sir, have any promotions? Yes, he does. He is infantry expert already. That is fantastic. The May Day Revolution. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 We don't care for any of this. Wartime rifles. Wow, we are we are living the dream now. We are living the dream. Let's do push for line production. And I can't even trade with anyone because nobody likes us. Is that the reason, actually? Uh, our trade influence is too low because I... Wonder why that could possibly be. China's denounced Vietnam. Nothing new there. Oh, we got a couple more divisions. Happy days. Panzer Grenadiers. They were used during the war and they proved successful then. In order to protect our small amount of troops, we should equip them with armored vehicles. This way, they cannot only be protected when transported, but also move quicker. Nice. We actually do have a little old navy. 
And we actually do have a decent number of guys here as well. Nice. Suez blocked Italian ships. A coup is undergone in Egypt. Oh no. Wait, wasn't Egypt a British puppet? So has Italy just the bogeyman of Europe? That is not... I'm not the least bit concerned by Italy. So we do have the Republic of Japan here. And Germany wins the EFC. The Republic of Korea is also free, obviously. And yes, the state of Uruguay. I definitely said that wrong. Malaya is in a civil war now. Who else have we got? Who have we got in the cabinet? Alfred. Edmund. Herbert. And George. Now, of course, we do have a fanatical dictatorship. Who would have ever seen that coming? Definitely not us, and no clear winner in the UK. So, really, just the usual. So, 46k so far in our trip, uh, our divisions, our army, our Algeria. Oh yeah, forgot Algeria's in the Civil War, obviously Spain's got Morocco to deal with. I feel like it's always the Republic of Algeria that wins. So, what are you doing the Pokemon of Europe? Where, where's the, ah, the bogeyman of Europe? Our holy duty. Yeah, let's let's not have a new pact of steel, please. Let's not have that. Hmm. Kingdom of Albania. They are line hungry. Anyways, Panzer Grenadiers is done. Yes, give me those APCs. We're not going to be able to even resupply, but yay! The IFVs to make up our smaller army size, but should put emphasis on vehicles such as tanks to make up for it. That way, we can send more protected units into battle, with the army flowing, following them as opposed to vice versa. This will theoretically save us much needed trips. Will it though? Will it? Will it really? So, let's have a wee look and see if. No! Stop this! Don't you bloody dare! I think, I think what happens here is Burgundy gets formed. But this, this could actually end up killing him off. Don't you bloody dare. Don't you dare. I swear, if you, if you, th don't you dare think about it, you. Whoa. What did I say? What did I say? Republic of Algeria. They won. Yeah, I kind of want to kill you now, because Grand Warlord. Wow, you are not accepting a pact. Factor on how many divisions a country aims to produce. 50%. Okay. The dissolution of the Sahara. So now the French Republic just gobbled up some land. So did Mauritania. Are you even going to be sticking around? Looks like Charles de Gaulle is, is going to be leading them to whatever, really. I wonder if they've actually even edited that really has the french republic really seen much change since i played as them because that was um what's the what's the best way to put this pointless really <laughs> oh yes of course they're not going to want to go to the line because of um obviously we're allies right now with everybody let me just oh look we have enough to cover the whole line that's good there we go that's fair right Research slot. This is what we're looking for. Though we may have highly trained troops and armor, it is nothing if it is comprised of, out, uh, of the dated armor of the past to rectify this we need to develop. Cutting edge technology to effectively enforce our new doctrine. Hell yeah we do. And what do we have available in here? Everything uses consumer goods, doesn't it? A Japanese communist takeover. Infantry equipment. Yes, please get that production cost down on them boys. And the Republic of China is going after Vietnam. Which will probably cause the US to go, how dare you? We do not like how this is happening. Ooh, Greece is now in the Civil War. No, Greece, what you doing? The kingdom against the Hellenic state. And then Crete's just owned by Mussolini. Forgot about that. Au 
revolution. Ah, we got rid of them. Obviously, I will be returning. Oh well, actually, the video will have been up, but I will be playing them still as well. And have we just have we just lost the music? Yep, Marty Eagles. Just just what we love. Right, Ethiopia. Can you win for once? The Casablanca catastrophe. Ah, uh, Franco, 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 and Einstein's about to die. He's about to die. Good, they're reforming the military. That's what I like to see. Just let the world, let the Germans just collapse. People's victory in Sweden. Firm German relations. Yeah, no, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Republic of Finland has to join. What's this? Demands Estonia. Just rock up and demand Estonia. Yeah, that's rightful Finnish clay. Oh, some war breaking out over in Siberia. Oh, so nice having a research slot. I didn't do any land doctrine actually in my Vinat playthrough. I've just noticed that now. Um, I take it we just don't get any civvies. Is, is that what I'm getting from this, really? Yeah, um, I guess we'll just go ahead and more land. Yeah, one civvy. Not really. France, free France joins the accord. Attract French nationals. <laughs> Reclaim overseas colonies. That's definitely news enough. Start a border war between Northern Senegal and West. Yeah, the Germans don't own any of this. He'll eventually end up dying, surely at some point. It's weird how the Germans just have random bits stacked. Oh no! 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 Can he die? Die! Kick the bucket! Kick it! Kick it! Is it not about this time he goes? Is it not? Please? Thank you. Die. Preferably before we get killed. Because I'm not having to restart this. Thank you. We're not having that. Not today. We'll just keep on upgrading our glorious infrequent. Death of Wiseman. Franco's died as well. And and now actually this is gonna finish, isn't it? He's gonna finish it. He's gonna finish it. Stevenson elected as president. Nah, yep, yeah, we don't really care for that. So I'm hoping we're going to get a little bit more, oh well, minus 70% from the colonial repression, which we will eventually get rid of. Uh, UN Vietnam resolution fails. Of course it did. Okay, they're about to finish that. Nothing, nothing bad's going to happen, right? Nothing bad. Okay. He's still here. That's good. They've just got rid of the SS infighting. I thought it would have done something. Okay, Deathlow was Czech. Okay. I've definitely pronounced that wrong, but obviously. At least I know where that's happening now. Political turmoil. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course, of course. Um, I guess we'll keep working down here. I will, of course, start to work down here because, well, 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 well. This... And in the worst possible case scenario, we must be prepared to throw everything we have at the enemy and sustaining Greater Land's existence is no longer possible. Let us serve as a warning that anyone who takes us off the map will be just to radioactive rubble in minutes. That sounds fantastic. And I really, really do want to do that. However, it does require us to have certain, certain stuff researched. So we are going to definitely have to research some uh, nuclear stuff, which is fine. It'll help when we get that other research slot. But we'll work on this. Um, this side... Ah, uh, max entrenchment, plus one. We'll, we'll definitely finish off this. Maybe, 
Oh, that helps with heavy production. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I should probably do the Ukrainian raids. That gives us some steel. Steel is what we need. I don't want the PP. I'd rather keep the man for and lose the PP. I know it's only had 900 to fold, but... Yeah, right. Thank you for all those wars. Yeah, what a... What a mess that is. Right. Truck factories. Let's go. So, one more gun. And then... Where is our early artillery? Yes. Thank you so much. We still only have one city. Russian cost motorized down. Yeah, it's not really beneficial to me. So, you know, if we can actually start striking out when everything goes to crap, then, you know, I'm actually going to have to build rocket sites. How am I supposed to build rocket sites when I've got no civvy factories? Yeah, I should have probably met with you. Exit other Dutch government. Again. If you have the space program, you know. More military factories. Saying that, when I take over land, I'll get some more cities. That gives us a rocket site there, actually. Rocket testing. Yes, 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 yes. Do we get to end the world? Yes, grow fleet. Not that I'm going to be needing you, but yes. More submarines. Oh, oh, oh. Is it? Gate scale. Prime Minister, gate scale. He is here. We can't, like, see him at all. What's this? Memories of Dunkirk. Yeah, that's not good memories there, is it? Can I take over the whole world? <laughs> I really do hope we come head to head with the Soviets at one point. I would love to kill them. Experiment on... Ah, yes. Yes, create Unit 17. Definitely better going for the, the people's nuclear program. Rather than doing that, especially the psychokinetic experiments. What a waste of time that was. It gave you something for, like, um... For interrogations. But then... I'm sorry. Croatia? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. I can't cancel it, but... Oh. The world will now fall into... Well, Germania is going to fall into complete and utter anarchy. Glorious. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> Croatia starts a war, and then the leader gets killed off. Not, not good there, really. That's not good one bit. Oh, considerable goods goes up there. It doesn't really matter, though. It doesn't really matter. Can do with the production cost coming way down, so let's grab that one. Yeah, as I expected, the French are revolution. Oh. Okay. Who's, who's going to be leading? Finnish communist ban lifted. Oh, and, yep. Yeah. Yep, everything's blowing up. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. I don't know why that came into my head at all, but okay. Yes, weaken yourselves. Do it. Saint Georgia, did you? Were you obviously? Oh, well, there's everyone else popping up. Who popped up here? Ah. Isolated from the Reich. Refugees from Ukraine. German refugees from Reich's Commerce throughout Ukraine have arrived in Golden Lands. I wonder why. Right, stop, pause, 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 pause. Uh, during the first wave of colonization, many settlers left to build a new life in the vast expanses of Ukraine, but now it seems that the dream of a new life in the, colon uh, in the colonies has not been realized for the German people. Most of them are fit, strong, ideal area men and women that can provide the greater good of Golden Lands. Yes. Welcome to the armed forces. Welcome. The rebirth of France. What a terrible template that is. Oh, the French Republic. Wait, holy crap, the French Republic? How the When the Where? Where is that part of the tree? Ah! Democracy prevails. So they should unify quite peacefully then, the French. Yes, end of Moscow and, yep, just. Just oh, collapse into anarchy, please, while I. Finish this focus and we flip and hightail it down here now. 
Yeah, we have all of these focuses to do. Okay. Oh my days. It is blowing up. Jeez. I would do you, but let's go ahead and do the the politics. 21 days. So Hungary's now in a two-front war. That could be beneficial for the Croatians. Because Hungary will not be able to fight a two-front war. Sparthy, you fool. Okay, Bosnia has declared her independence. Wow. Yep, yeah, you know how I was saying that's going to be better for Croatia? Yep, no it's not. As free as f in free England. What? British-inspired democracy. Okay, you, you do what you want. Do you have a king? Ah, yes, you do. The Albanian Revolution. Oh, my days. Just look at this. Who's in charge? Ah. We don't. We're not interested. Genji Miyamoto. Canada, what are you up to? Louis Saint Laurent and Vincent Massé. Or Massé, possibly. Do you, you're just... You are fascist. Memory United Nations. State of Ethiopia is gone. There, oh, yes. Germany has not collapsed into anarchy just yet. Surely, any moment now, it will kick off. I'm not going to bother doing any focuses. Do we get any extra decisions? No, just put those pissed off. Come on. Civil War time, please. Who did a bloody peaceful transition? There shouldn't be. I don't know they dealt with the SS infight in England. Still got a great power struggle. Yeah, there's not much Germany can do. Yeah, exactly. Fall into anarchy right now. Do it. Or do I have time to do an our focus? Job. I'll have time to do an our focus. Guess at least get some steel in here. Okay, so Croatia peace out with Hungary. Hungary's getting destroyed by Romania. Say goodbye to them. I'm s no way. They haven't, they haven't, they haven't peacefully won, right? Get in the bin. Ha oh, I was gonna say. I was like, how have you just peacefully transitioned there? Ah, that's better. Fear of the tourism industry. Ah. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? But at least now, once this is finished, I can actually go ahead and do independent good land. Unification of Greater Romania, we don't care about that. Loyalist exiles. Oh, nice. I'm hoping we get some decisions here. I really do. Because I. Here's some. Cl oh! Nuclear warhead smuggling. The fingers of Tiwaz, or Tawaz, where, where is that? Ah, it's there. Ho, 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 ho. I'm looking really forward to like getting into the thick of it next episode. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave that episode there. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back very, very soon for another episode. Until then, take care. Cheer bye. Then out.